I think the the more harsher hate speech that I've witnessed is homophobic. I mean, I've seen it in everything, and it's sad that people have to, like, competitive minds often react in an emotional way, and I feel like that's when you're, like, losing, you lose something, you react emotionally, and these things come out. Um, sadly, the mood that I've seen is like, well, what are you going to do, you know, and that's, that's not cool. It's usually, everybody's usually really nice and, and usually like, like, everybody's usually pretty like, polite and nice to each other. We, nobody's usually out to like bring people down in most of my experience, but there are people, I know there are people out there that that's all their fun is because you can make an account so easily. But it, I know it's like, it's hard like for Twitch because it's a huge platform. They can't constantly be everywhere too. So I, I know it's hard. I know they try. I know they like, not that they don't care and I know they're really trying. The game industry has struggled with a lot of issues around the culture and the way gamers treat one another. And it's something that the game companies are starting to stand up and take notice of. There's actually efforts by a number of game companies, including Microsoft and Electronic Arts, to encourage good behavior and to basically shine a spotlight on people in the, in the fans who are more, not toxic who are willing to have conversations that are constructive, not just overly positive, constructive. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how these companies increasingly try to handle this issue.